gets the pass off. And he brings in the high pass. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. They line up at the 47. They hand it off. Westbrook gains around six yards on the run. They line up at the 41. He's running out of time. Still moving. And they got him. Big down for the offense as they try to make up the deficit here in the fourth quarter. Come on, let's go. Let's dominate this. Keep playing. They'll keep it on the ground again. LaRon Landry is there on the tackle. Passing in this situation seems like it would have been a better idea. Passing in every situation seems to me like it would be a better idea, but when you have the clock working against you like this, it's time to put it up. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. The Redskins will begin this drive at the 20. Fortis gets the handoff to the right. Still moving. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll get the call again. Tackle is made by Sean Jones. Seven yards there, and that makes it third down. Third down now, they'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Portis lost the ball. Philadelphia falls on it. They get the turnover. Uh, you just can't have a bigger mistake than that. You're in complete control of the ball game. You have possession, and you give it right back to them. The Eagles will start this drive at the 28-yard line. Passes it out. Tips it away. Fred Smoot was defending on the play. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Get him going, baby. Nasty, baby. Nasty. On the ground, on the ground. Here's the halfback. Horton was there to bring him down. Brian Westbrook can see the field so well. And as a runner, you need to have that kind of vision to be successful. First and ten. We have two minutes left to play in this game. He scrambles away. Maybe got a couple of yards, but that's about it. And that will bring up second down. Goal line only a dozen yards away now. D'Angelo Hall had the coverage on the play. Pretty obvious passing down here. The offense facing a third and long situation that they need to convert. Here's the pass. It falls incomplete. Jeremy Macklin was the intended receiver on the play. Looks like they'll opt to go for it here. Flag. 
He needs to get rid of it. McNabb can't hang on to the ball. Who's going to come up with this one? Daniels gets his hand on it and scoops it up. The Redskins win the battle. They get the takeaway. I'm not sure if he was actually the first one to get there or not, but boy, what a job he did scraping that thing out of there. Portis takes the give. The Eagles will take their second time out of the half. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 18. Portis gets the carry left side. McCall makes the tackle. Clinton Portis really has a special sense of how a play is developing, and he knows the blocking assignments of those guys up front. You can just see it. He is very patient. He waits for it to develop and then takes full advantage. They go with the kneel down. Second down, about 12 yards to go. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just kneel it here. Third down, they'll need 14 to convert. Ball on their own, 25. That's gonna do it. We have highlights coming right up, so don't go anywhere. Our final score is the Redskins, 14, the Eagles, 7. Both teams had to battle the elements, which partly contributed to the low-scoring game, but it was close at the end. For Chris Collinsworth, I'm Tom Hammond, saying so long and see you next time. This has been a presentation of EA Sports and Madden NFL 10.